everyone, Lexi here and welcome to Train Insane, a video series that will teach you how to fly your FPV drones and exceed your peers while doing so. If you are not familiar with the things that are on your screen right now, please stop it and just familiarize yourself with all of the information. This is how I'm saving time. And today we're going to be talking about throttle control. So everything that's involved in keeping the same type of a level, which is really important not only for racing, but also for freestyle and cinematic shots. So this is something for absolutely everyone. Before we start, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, Turbo, FPV24 and Tattoo, as well as the spawner sponsors that you can see on the bottom of your screen right now. I also wanted to thank Boner FPV for creating the tracks that we will be flying from now on as he really helped me out in preparing this series for you all of his tracks are actually amazing and you can find the information to his stuff as well down below in the description box now that we are done with all of this let's go let me start with explaining what is a tunnel a tunnel in racing usually means three or more gates put in front of you in a sequence of whatever type so you can go to the left to the right or have a sequence just like here which has a lot of gates just going straight ahead which is absolutely okay and then it also teaches you how to go through the tunnels that are turning a little bit so uh, when you drive a car and there is a tunnel like inside of the mountain and things like this so this is basically created to prepare you for things like this but they also do happen in racing now let's go through how to actually approach this truck and I'm gonna show you three ways in which you can do it depending on your level if you are a beginner pilot, I would like you to use mostly yaw and roll throughout this entire track because this is going to be exactly like the turning track. It's just turning all over the place. And use around 30-40% of throttle if this is comfortable for you. Now here you don't have to go above, it's absolutely okay. And as a beginner, you're probably going to be overshooting things a little bit, going a little bit too far, trying to, you know, overcompensate for some things, trying to hit this thing in the middle then going a little bit too far in here just working on that and then in this one i would like you to hold the roll and yaw on the same type of a level throughout the entire channel if it's possible and here this thing ignore it as you could see i didn't hit it it still disappeared it's just there to show you the direction now if you're an intermediate pilot you probably are going a little bit faster okay you crashing into a couple of things you go in a little bit far but you go in super super fast because you know how to fly already you get in a little bit you know jerky ballsy it's it's getting there now this is gonna be a little bit of a problem so i would highly highly recommend for you to record what you are doing and if you crash especially here on top like i did right now then you probably should know that you are overdoing something a little bit there now this is absolutely okay because if you are uh really advanced pilot then you will get to the point in which you understand that slow and smooth is the fastest and you don't have to really do that much when it goes to the speed and the throttle you can just add throttle with time obviously no problems at all there and you will see that even though this looked a little bit less crazy than the other one see it's faster so it didn't look that fast and at the end of the day it is still faster so let us discuss all of those levels and what you can do to train all of your skills so if your time is above 40 seconds you are probably a beginner and all you need to learn is look at the stick inputs just getting as smooth as possible with your drone just get to know how it reacts with certain things and don't add too much throttle what may help you as well is going to be to get the angle of your camera a little bit lower now let me show you what i mean by that so let us change all of it to 30 degrees so i can show you how it will look like for the beginners so as you can see this is a little bit smaller and let me show you how it may look like for you so again i would like you to use 30 40 percent of your throttle and go as slow as you feel comfortable and this is absolutely gonna be okay so as you can see it looks different 
it also does feel much different and much slower but you can still do pretty fast laps with this just saying if you are into racing now this may actually help you out in a little bit more control over your drone especially if you are a beginner pilot if you want to do freestyle or cinematics you're gonna have a lower camera angle anyway so this should be okay now as you can see I'm gonna go through this entire thing kind of just once overcompensating with the roll and this is gonna be the entire thing now if your time is 25 to 40 seconds you are probably about the intermediate level and I would like you to just record what you are doing and your entire flight with the stick overlay on because then it's gonna show you if you are hitting the walls you don't really want to hit all the inputs to the walls you don't really want that this is this is not what you want trust me even with the throttle you don't want full throttle you don't want full yaw you don't want full roll full pitch we don't want that we want to stay within the middle like a sweet spot which is somewhere here for your drone yeah not this not dji stuff no somewhere here in the middle so be sure to record your own stuff maybe think about if you have too much expo applied which is forcing you to do all of those things because this probably too much it's gonna just add too big of uh, input while you are flying now if you are below 25 seconds you are already doing a great job congratulations and all i want you to train is the smoothness of your flight so i want you to kind of get to be one with your drone you need to know how it reacts to certain movements as i'm going to show you in a second in the non-talking video because i'm flying so much better not talking just saying um so uh train this and with time add a little bit more throttle add a little bit more pitch maybe get your camera angle higher if you are flying on a lower camera angle i'm personally flying on 50 degrees so this is for racing if you are flying for cinematic or freestyle change your camera angle to 30 so it will look more or less like that now if you are a cinematic or freestyle pilot i also want you to go with lower throttle at first and just try to make all of this as beautiful as possible so no sudden stops no jerky moves just kind of try to go and make it beautiful and actually send me a video on instagram or something like this so i can see what you've done um and just focus on making it smooth okay so just try to control your throttle to stay within one type of a lane in here one level and just make it pretty okay so that's all that i want from you no sudden movements no this no going like Ooh, oh no i was supposed to stop in here okay um mm -mm, here i don't want you to do that i don't want you to crash do all the other things i want you to just make smooth nice beautiful shots even if it means that you will absolutely ignore the track and just kind of use it you know like oh i'm gonna just go here and then towards this tree because it's beautiful whatever and then i'm just gonna go here and you don't really have to like go through the entire track as it's supposed to be you can do things like this that's absolutely fine all that i had for you today and i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make algorithm happy and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join us next week where we will be learning about 3d turns so we're going to be not only turning but just also going up and down while doing so so we can you know build up our skills with time don't forget to join us on the training calendar which you can get for absolutely free and it comes straight to your inbox every single month all you have to do is just to follow the link down below in the description box and it's done 
Once again, thank you very much for the sponsors of this video, which I listed just right here. And thank you very much for watching this video. And be sure to share it with some of your friends who are learning how to FPV or are trying to get their skills up. I will see you next week. And until then, stay awesome fun. Bye.